first thing I want to do before we visit the castle is let's go ahead and get uh, a visit the gypsies. Because, you know what, before we even go to the castle, let's go ahead and get this whole gnome Baba Yaga thing taken care of. Now, we know that she wants an elderberry pie, but I don't know how to make an elderberry pie. Uh, so, maybe... Let's talk to Bonehead, first of all. Maybe Bonehead knows, because who knows Baba Yaga better than Bonehead does? I can't believe I didn't ask him about it before. Actually, Olga probably knows a recipe, too, because Olga knows everything. Do, 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 do. And I think being at Baba Yaga's place should put us pretty close to the gypsies. Phew. So we can kind of do everything all at once. Oh, hi, bunny. Okay. Whatever. I think after fighting wraiths and slavering necrotors and all this kind of thing, this little bunny rabbit's probably not going to be too much of a trouble, though my stamina is awfully low. Will you stab the fucking thing? Adapt! Adopt, adapt, and improve. There you go. Good boy. I cannot believe we wasted all of our stamina on a goddamn rabbit. Uh, I just don't know if my game is broken with this stamina thing or if I'm doing something wrong. Alright. So, whatever. Let's... I'm not even going to mess around with it. I know we need an elderberry, so let's go ahead and grab it, first of all. Let's just fetch it. I'm not going to get close to it. You didn't manage what? to fit. Huh? Why is he not... It's not... Okay. Can I talk to him? The bush does... Introduce yourself. You provide... You no. Don't... I remember it was, like, alive... Did I already get it or something? No, I don't see any berries in my inventory. I know this is how it works. This is an elderberry bush. You didn't... Well... I... Say magic phrase, I guess. Bye. Or am I thinking about a different bush? I, I, I don't even know anymore. You don't have uh -oh, any... I am starving. This is not going well at all. All right, Bob, uh, Skull, Bonehead. Yeah, come on, talk to me. So, did you get it? Show me. I won't let you in without All it. All right. Um, elderberry pie. She didn't give you the recipe. There we go. All right, let's see. You'll need a pie pan for scotch. You'll need bone meal for a uh, crust, grew goo for flavoring, and elderberry berries. Of elderberry course. Elderberry berries. Okay. Well, while I'm here, I can ask about the Dark One's cave, which is cool. You do realize it's supposed to be bad karma to mention the Dark One. Eh, what do I care? It can't do much to me now anyway. <laughs> squash you. Well, you probably seen the cave mouth. We flew by it in the hut on the way into the valley. Nasty looking thing. It takes some sort of ritual magic to get the mouth to open. I understand someone at the castle has that ritual now. Oh-ho! We hear that. Okay. So, look, 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 look. So we have these two rituals, right? The only way to get that cave mouth open is to cast a really complicated ritual, which someone at the castle has, and that someone is Katrina. So we know Katrina has this ritual, so something is a little bit wacky. Let's see if we can learn more about these people. I'm not too sure what's up in the castle. Baba said something about them being her kind of people, but that could mean anything from ghouls to necromancers. They're the castle creatures keep to themselves and we keep to ours. Alright, didn't tell me much, but let's see if he knows anything about these rituals, because this will come into play later in a big way. Well, ritual magic usually involves saying and doing something stupid for a long time at some stupid place in order for something just as stupid to happen. Hey, it's like going to church, but without the payoff. Alright, well, bye. So at least now we know what we need. Uh, oh, 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 and we need bone meal. And you can see how this mortar and pestle is obviously standing out. So let's put our bones in there. And I think we have some, don't we? Don't we have some bone? Yeah, there they are. So we can make ourselves some bone meal. You put the bones into the huge mortar. Now what? Well, what else would you do with it? You grind it, you fool. That thing's got to weigh a ton. Work the pestle back and forth in the mortar. It's hard work, 
but after a while you manage to grind the bones into a fine bone meal with almost the consistency of flour. Bingo! All right, so now we have the bone meal, we got the pie pan, we gotta get some more grugu, and we gotta figure out how to get these elderberries off the bush. First of all, we need him to come back. There he is. Okay. These bushes... These Maybe... I... I... I could have sworn this is the elderberry bush, isn't it? Maybe not. Uh, let's keep looking around, because I know the elderberry bush is the one that, like, moves and will attack you and stuff. I could have sworn that was it, but I've been wrong before. I mean, it's rare, but sometimes it happens. Alright, I gotta stop and get some more food at some point, too. What? Oh, hello, Wyvern. Let's hope I can do this without my... Oh, it's already set. Alright, yeah, spam your da- no, 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 spam your daggers, sneaky feet. Stop trying to get close to him, you dumbass! Alright, magic use up, aggressiveness down, special attack up, defense low, whatever. Full on offensive, go on there, buddy. There you go, dagger, 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 and when in doubt, cast a flame balls! Oh, wow, this is gonna take forever. Alright, well, with a war of attrition, we finally pulled it off, but I- I'm upset that he hasn't done his buzzsaw move in such a long time. Maybe I need more stamina for that. I don't know. Let's see. No, he's not here. This is where a wraith would be, most likely. Ugh. There he is! I found him! Okay. So let's go ahead and cast our fetch spell here. You try to fetch some berries from the bush, but they seem firmly attached to branches. Alrighty, well, that means it's time to use force, because I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. Is this a throwing dagger? I have 13 of them. Alright, we can spare one. Let's see if we can chop one off from afar. Hua! Yay! I'll be taking that. I still don't trust you. I can probably just go pick it up, but I'm not gonna. Thank you. You retrieve the berries from the loose branch and store them carefully in a pocket. Excellent. All right. We got the elderberries. Now let's go fetch some Gru Goo and we can be done with this whole pie making endeavor. Gru Goo should be down here somewhere. All right. I'm skipping a lot of battles, which is nice because my stamina is about zero. Alright, here we go. Let's grab ourselves some Grugu. I would be pissed off if I didn't have a flask. And back we go. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Gotta do this shit again. Backtrack, backtrack, fucking backtrack. Or and or and or again. Oh. Alright, Leshy, I've had enough of you. Caprain can't hide there anymore. Ah, uh, I think he's only got a couple more riddles left before he's finally done. So let's just wrap him up. Okay, you do give bitch your child is bullshit. Oops! Hi there! Alright, come on out, Leshy. Oh, you're too huge! Ah. Uh. Five from fifteen leaves you ten. Find the heart scroll in its den! It's hidden hard, reveal at night. Watch this undead. You must fight. Ah, uh, the heart ritual. Did I get the heart ritual? What could he mean? Maybe it was the one I had to fight? There's the bone. That's the blood and the bone. Where would I get the heart ritual? R oh, Wraith. Maybe that's the one I still have to beat that kept kicking my ass. Wraith! I'm almost out of riddles. I'll ask you nothing more, but come back in a while just to see what I've in store. All right, well, that's good to know. I can put killing that wraith on uh, near the top of my list for that ritual that we don't really know we need yet, but when we need them, it's gonna happen fast. Oh, what's... Oh, no, not more... You hit him! Do something, sneaky feet! Stop it! You, uh, the battles in this game can be so frustrating. All right, anyway, anyway, anyway. All right, so let's... Can I go this way? No. I'm lost. So lost. Is this where the gypsies are? 
No. Yeah, lost. Thank God for the uh, skip -a though. All right, here we go. All right, so let's combine these. I still don't know how we're supposed to cook this, but one thing at a time. All right, so powder, powder, bone meal. That's the bones. Where's the bone meal? Is it already in the pan? No. Empty flask. Oh, I don't think... <laughs> I didn't actually pick it up out of the mortar. That's cute. Okay. So put the berries in there. Let's say hi to this bush. The bush. Uh, stop it. Uh, magic phrase. Floop. I think I have an idea. First of all, let's very slowly walk up this hill and get the bone meal out of this stop. thing. Shut up, bonehead. I got work to do. The fine bone meat. Oh, another container. Let's just put it into a flask, maybe? You there we go. Alright, and then this bone meal goes into here. Alright, now we gotta figure out a way to cook this. I know these skulls have lasers. Uh... She didn't give you the I have the recipe. Well, let's just give it to him. Maybe she'll just cook it herself. There you go. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to the Baba's menu for tonight. Oh, good. So he'll cook it for me. Which one's the head skull? This one? That didn't do it. This one? There you go. Bzzz. Beautiful. The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been cooked to a delicate golden brown. I, I kind of want to try it. Hey, bird legs! Squat! Very good. I don't have to waste any more of my corn, so I'm free to nibble on it all I want. I wasn't ready to just wander in there. You quickly step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kid? Good. It's not like I trust him. Floor quick. Make him stick. You're... Voice sounds different. Stuck to the I uh, okay, that's happened before though, but maybe I might be just hearing. Things. Spirits of the swamp and mire. No, nope, totally different. What I desire, creatures of the mist, beings of the fog, turn this human into a cute hedgehog. Hedgehog, they're my favorite. I used to have a pet hedgehog until he got cancer. He literally did. It was the saddest day ever. I have a sudden craving for a tiggly wiggly. Perhaps some hedgehog grog. Hedge piggly swiggly and pig newtons. How are you going to make all of that out of one hedgehog? What's that you say? Elderberry pie. Oh darn. He was bringing that here. Was and now it's all squished because my pockets have shrunk. I don't suppose a piggly wiggle can get the pie from his backpack. Could he? Particularly if his feet are stuck to the floor. <gasps> oh, pity. How do I put a pie in my backpack anyway without messing it up? Then more. Restore this man as he was before. I wish I could roll my tongue like that. It sounds so awesome. I can't. I can do it with my cheek, though. So, now my dining delight. Do you have what I asked for? Yes, yes. Here's your pie. And now, that we, she's going to owe us basically a favor, even though I think we're kind of even because she didn't kill me, but maybe she can do something to help the gnome with his humor problem. There you go. Pie, pie, pie. Mmm, that smells delicious. Just the way we like it. Fresh from the fire. I love Baba Yaga so much. So, let me think. How should I reward you for such a lovely pie? She seemed apt just to not kill me as a reward. Maybe should we just fry him now? Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. have green spleen casserole with a roast leg of man. And of course, it's going to be up to her pets to save my ass again. Batty boy, speak up for me. Thank you, Bats. You're the best. Oh, all right. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. Ugh. So what is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? Now, I know we can ask for help, but maybe we can actually be a little bit more self-serving here. Uh, save... Goo, whatever. What if I can eat her pie? It doesn't say much. I don't, I don't want to talk to it, I want to eat it. That's all I can do. Oh, I can't move. That's right. 
ask for something different, quote unquote, a magic spell, the gnome's humor. Well, let's see what this is. Well, of course, we'll, we'll restore and whatever, but something different. You ask Baba to give you whatever she thinks might be useful to you on your adventures. This could be anything. Useful, huh? Oh, that's a toughie. Let me think. What have I got lying around here besides the hut? Oh, I know. Uh, this is probably gonna be bad. Here, take this. I found it hidden in the hangman's tree, as I recall. It's a magical ritual oh. used by the Chernovi. I wouldn't recommend actually using it, mind you, but it might come in handy sometime. Interesting, so she has one of the rituals I need. I mean, I need the good humor bar, so there must be a way to come back and get it by doing her another favor. Oh, good to know. I wonder how I would have learned that when the time came. So let's just go ahead and get the humor bar. Humor! You tell about the gnome and how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want this sense of humor? I'm not sure the gnome really had a sense of humor. Making fun of poor old ogresses. You are kind of an easy target, because your puns are worse than his. Take this good humor bar and give it to the gnome. I suppose there is nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't... Yeah, come on, he's learned his lesson. You take the good humor bar and put it away. All right, let's get out of here. You've got what you wanted, and I've got what we wanted. Tasty treat, now retreat. All right, good. Well, I guess she liked the pie, or you would have taken its place. <laughs> I wonder if I make her another pie, she'll give me that ritual she has, but that, that will have to save for another time. But first of all, let's go ahead and get this uh, good humor bar back to the gnome so he can get back to normal, though I'm not sure how this will reward me, but hey, being a hero is its own reward, right guys? Right? Right? No, it's really not, because we, we're here for riches. We are sneaky feet, mighty thief, and we are out for basically our own personal gain. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. we are, we are hero, we are a hero, this is what we need to do. And the Leshy's not even here anymore. Oh, God! Oh, God! Leshy, Leshy, riddle's done. Thank you much for all the fun. Dog pile on the hero? What am I supposed to... Ouch! That was my great reward? By getting swarmed by bushes? Thanks, Leshy, Leshy, whatever your name is. Remind me never to go to your screen ever again. Uh-oh, battle time? Yeah, another rabbit. God, just kill the rabbit. It's a rabbit! Sneaky feet, it's a- there you go, stab down! Lead your target. If he's gonna jump, then you have to jump. If he's gonna duck, then you've gotta duck. And plus, it's a fucking rabbit. You know it's gonna jump. That's what they do. I can't go this way. God, I just wanna get back to town. Please. Or... The Gypsy Caravan. Oh, hey, Davy! Welcome, welcome! It is good of you to visit our camp once again. May you find here all that you seek. Alright, well, as long as we're here, we might as well get another one of our terror readings out of the way. Hello, Magda! I have seen in a vision that you have a friend in need. A stranger to this land, like yourself. You speak with him in this room at the inn. This friendship will send you on a very strange quest. Eh. Perhaps at another time, we will speak more of this. Strange, yes, but I'm literally just having to make a pie, which... Well, I guess it was kind of wacky that, you know, in an area where I have to beat up necrotars and swing swords at bunnies, the fact that I meet this evil ogress I defeated three games ago, and I have to make her a pie so she makes him an ice cream bar so he can get his sense of humor back? Yeah, I guess that is kind of weird. The table from you. Besides, gypsies don't like to be touched. I, I figure as long as you don't touch his, his cute little chi in the butt, he's fine. Uh, okay. Well, let's see how they're doing. Let's be polite. Uh, oh, I can tell about the gnome. Hello! You will always be welcome here. But I can't touch you, eh? As long as there's not silver in my hand. Well, it's a... Well, it's unfunny gnome. You tell about the gnome and his problems. Uh. Hmm, interesting. Baba Yaga has returned only recently to this valley. 
We have had well, scent of her to the far south. But the path to her hut is blocked by magic. You will need to find a way past that magical barrier. Hey everybody, if you like what you saw, please click this picture here to subscribe. And if you want to see some more sneaky feet, you click this, no, that picture right here. That's the Quest for Glory one. And if you want to see some other stuff that I've done, you click this one right under the heart. That's my wife. She's pretty. I like this one the best though. No, that one. It's really hard, alright?